hello friends welcome to c sharp space today in this video session we will discuss about how to use uh, cookies in sv.net core so let's start we open our visual studio and here we create a sv.net core web application here i am choosing a sv.net core web template sv.net core web application is a cookie core then click on ok now it's creating a project for a cookie here i am using a template for a model view controller now this uh, creating a project and adding some sample files now project is uh, created so first of all um, we creating a view for uh, this uh, cookie test so uh, i am going this uh, index method uh, index view inside this uh, home controller here we creating a uh, one sample form where we post data uh, for a text box and then uh, retrieve that data uh, with the help of cookies so here i am creating a html for this its style margin top is like a 30 px 30 px then creating a form for this its method method is post and like this sp controller controller is home controller and then sp action here uh, we creating a index method for this like uh, i'm using this index post method and then i'm taking a uh, one input parameters here uh, we set a cookies value uh enter value for cookie then mm, set txt cookie then um, here i'm taking a one label like go uh, we back dot uh, message and then taking one button button type as submit for a posting the uh, this data to post method submit and then it's um, submit now i am opening this controller this is the home controller and here uh, we need to create a one more controller for restoring the text box value uh, into cookies is decorate as a http post then i form collection here i am using a form collection for getting a value for text box Need to name space. Pressing a control dot. Is sp core http. Here writing a object name. Then, firstly we create a cookie option. And its options is equal to new cookie options. here uh, we can add uh, different types of uh, uh, cookies options like a domain name set its a max is path same site security many options is available here so i'm adding uh, its expires 
डेट टाइम डॉट नाउ डॉट एट लाइक आई क्रिएटिंग अ कुकीज फॉर आर टू डेज इट्स टू देन इट्स रिस्पॉन्स डॉट कुकी डॉट एपेंड then here we writing a key like a name then here we provide a value our text box name our text box name is the txt cookie and then here we provide options that we set for these cookies now we return this action method to this index so so this is redirect to action uh, redirect to action and then here i am writing uh, this uh, index method name then writing this controller name it's home so after this uh we check this uh, cookies value is available or not so this request dot cookies then here we enter their name it's equal to not null and if it's null then we set this uh, we back message name it's equal to this cookies value otherwise we set any default message like uh, not available it's not available now we run this application i'm pressing a control f5 now uh, this is uh, a debugging application and by default it's calling a home index so first of all when you running this application in uh, by default this mbc template uh, this constant for accepting a cookies policy so i accept it here and here we writing like a, a c sharp space click on submit this uh, cookies value with face from uh, this cookies name and if we change it in this then this will be changed so i am creating uh, one more button for deleting this uh, cookies value so i am adding one more method uh, for uh, uh, deleting the cookies record so we created a one more method here like uh, delete cookie then it's saying like a uh, if cookies value is not null then uh, this will delete the value is response response dot cookies dot delete Uh, this is provided different options here so delete append okay here i am using a delete and then here we provide uh, their key our key name is like a uh, name then i am adding a uh, one more option here attribute like uh, delete cookie and here we provide this link is uh, home this delete cookie uh, now we link this uh, that delete cookies uh, for this uh, attribute 
here we also change this return view to our index method so now we run this application and this uh, building uh, this project for uh, cookies Now this is already stored uh, cookies value. So I press on this delete cookie. Now this uh, cookies value is treated. So again stored any values. And this value stored in a cookie. Then press a uh, delete cookie. This uh, cookies value will be cleared. So this is all the process for how to use a cookie in a sv.net core and how to delete a cookies value. So if you have any questions, please write in the comment box. I will reply you soon. If you like my videos, please click on subscribe button and notification bell for getting a latest updates. So thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will meet in next video session.